but there were some parts of it that I wasn't brave enough to explore. Uh, the likes of Riley Husband was there with his buddies and pointed toward a big ramp. The big ramp. Why do they call it the moon booter? Could put you in the moon boot. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't too keen on filling out the forms for that. So just watch from a distance. But uh, but the, the real challenge was tackling the uh, river trail, which runs alongside the river. That's where it gets its name. Uh, Sam Anderson was the tour guide to, uh, to talk us through this. Uh, full loops, about 10 k's. Um, so down from the Skills Park down to... Trevor's Road and up to Ellington and back around. It's pretty special. You're, what, minutes from town, but when you're on the trail, you feel a world away. Yeah, so I'm out of town, I drive in, and you get here and think nobody's in the car park, but, yeah, it's full of uh, kids that have just biked down from town and, yeah, just a huge community resource um, right on the doorstep. Yeah, big time. How many hours a week would you be spending down here? (laughs) That's an unfair question. (laughs) I I spend way too many. I've been told that, uh, yeah... I should actually have a tent here, but... (laughs) Did I look the part? You did. You've got mud up your back and uh, you stayed upright, so it's even better. Well, now I understand why your cruise shirts are extra long, because this thing here is a bit like a crop top, and I've just got cakes of mud down my butt crack. (laughs) I didn't feel like taking a photo. It looked a bit rude from behind. (laughs) I love how it's flat, it's achievable, and it's right there, and it's free, thanks to the wonderful support of, uh, of local businesses and the driven committee of Mountain Bike Ashburton. There's a changing of the guard afoot. So best to share some airtime with uh, Brad O'Brien, who's going to be back with us in a moment to talk how you could be involved in keeping this thing the on track. Well, no, no, onto the track. The, uh, the, the River Trail is what I gave a go yesterday and also exploring our ACL uh, local Bike Skills Park, thanks to Sam Anderson, Brad O'Brien of our Mountain Bike Ashburton, also young Carter there to, uh, to assist. What an absolute gem. Man, we are lucky to have this right on the doorstep. Naturally, I chucked the recorder in front of uh, Brad's face to ask how it all sort of came to be. What got the wheels rolling on this thing? Probably about 13 or 14 years ago, uh, Dale Phillips and a group of guys, they um, came down here and there was a bit of a walk track here and it got a bit overgrown, so they pitched in and pretty much started creating bike tracks, um, created the loop right down, as Sam said, to Trevor's Road, up to Melrose Road. Yeah, it's just been a labour of love from everybody since, pretty much, like... I've been on the committee now for five years, so I've spent five years down here. Um, pretty much the same as Sam. Probably get told sometimes I should pitch a tent down here and live here, so yeah, it's, it's good to clear the head as well, which is quite good. How neat that it's flat, it's accessible, it's achievable for people. It is, yep. Like if I can ride it, anyone can. Oh, you did really well. Like you were, We took you down some of the hard lines, which I wasn't going to tell you were there, and you just did them, So, which is really cool. Yeah, that was a fun surprise in a couple of instances. The wee ramp thing, the drop. <laughs> I did see you nearly hug a tree once, and I managed to sneak <laughs> past you then, so that was quite good. It wasn't just the uh, the bike dropping, it was my stomach too. You know, something like this, when it's a labour of love, and we had those floods a couple of years back, that must have been pretty tough. Yeah, it is like, well, what did they say? It was a one in a hundred year flood, and we had two of them, so um, after the first one, we started started rebuilding and then got hit by the second one. Um, yeah, she was. it was pretty hard, like, there was a couple of sections of track, which we'd only just finished building, and had to go back in and rebuild it and it was it was devastating like um but we got a group of people in the community that come down and chipped in and helped and yeah we got it back which is the main thing so we've had our two 100 year floods so that's 200 years so hopefully we're, we're in the clear now too right i picked up some uh, neat terminology today such as um when you adjust the seat oh you drop a post yes drop a post yep you see, I thought you were talking about um, taking care of business before the ride. I did go to the loo before we started, rest yeah, assured. That's good. Yep. <laughs> What's a drop a post? Uh, so when you're obviously going downhill, it's quite nice to push the button and your seat disappears down a bit and away you go. Also makes it a little bit easier for us shorter ones getting on a bike. Uh, on the horizons, is there something you're working on? We have actually. So you'll notice around the skills park at the moment, there's heaps of timber edging going up. Um, so we have got ACL booked in to fully surface the whole skills park. So... Uh, within the next sort of six to eight weeks, you'll come in here. The whole area is going to be basalt. Um, so What's basalt. Uh, so it's the nice material that we've got on the ground. It's um, a product that harmers do, and it's yeah really hard compacting, good for the good in the weather. So uh, it's just going to take away a heap of maintenance on the skills park area. Uh, we've then got Cam from Dirt Trail Building booked in for September October. He's going to do two full weeks of track surfacing. Wow. Um, so that's probably going to be. 
2,000 to 2,500 metres worth of track that'll get done, uh, which will then give us just over 5,000 metres worth of the track fully surfaced with basalt. Um, yeah, with about another two and a half, three k's to go. So, yeah, that'll definitely um, make the life for everybody going forward a lot easier, yeah. which is good. And it's nice and fast to ride on. Like, yeah, you hit the basalt and you just take off quite a bit quicker because it's nice and smooth. It's it's amazing, and it is. It's for the whole community, everybody from anyone that can walk. Um, so, a two year old, if they can ride a balance bike, they can come and use the skills park um, right through to people that are retired and in their 80s and stuff you see them down here riding bikes around and yeah it's for the whole community which is awesome um we just need we just need a bit more help um some fresh blood and um, keep it moving pretty much time i get alice down here and perhaps time i invest in a bike so you can have yours back with maybe one or two extra dings (laughs) (laughs) i won't tell nicole It's actually her bike. <laughs> oh, jeez, we borrowed management's bike. You didn't tell me until afterwards. Thank you for that. Thank you, Brad. Sam, the tour. We'll be getting some footage up on our Hokanui Ashburton Facebook page. It was such a cool day out, and how lucky are we? To have it right there, tucked in behind the warehouse. And if, if, if you would like to uh, heald the call... To be a part of Mountain Bike Ashburton going forward, you can pop by to any of the upcoming committee meetings. They're on their Facebook page, Mountain Bike Ashburton. The next one is uh, next Wednesday, the 17th, 7 o'clock at EA Networks Centre. They would love to see you there and uh, share in the exciting plans going forward. It is 11 to 8. Country.co.nz.